Hello everyone, my name is Broya and we are back with um, the awesome books that I read in June. I read seven books in June, which isn't terrible, but um, also not, you know, up to par in my opinion. Probably because I was busy moving. If you can see my beautiful new dwelling here, I haven't quite figured out where to actually film these videos in this new place, but for today, this place, this, this spot is pretty okay. Um, so unfortunately I took most of these books back to the library, um, so I don't have them all to show you. So actually I think we're going to start with the books I plan to read in July and then talk about my June favorites. For this, I'm going to introduce, um, the TBR Pokeball. Um, so instead of a jar, I put all of the um, names of the books I have on my shelf that I haven't read yet in a Pokeball. We're gonna shake this up and I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna draw a book title and then that's a book that I'm gonna have to read this month. I'm gonna pick this one. Oh, weird. Okay. I have to read A Corna, and I was going to read this book this month anyway. I, I seriously had it in my bag for my vacation that I'm leaving on tomorrow. This book is about a um, unicorn girl, and I guess by this picture she's a... She looks kind of human looking, but then she's got a horn and she's got hooves or something. Um, but yeah, this should be pretty interesting. I've heard really good things about it. Next on my TBR list, we have Portrait in Sepia by um, Isabella Allende, because Isabella Allende's books are really, really cool. Next up, I also plan to read Ariel um, by Stephen R. Boyett. Um, I was trying to make sure I said his name right. Um, this book is about a boy who finds a unicorn. It takes place in a weird post-apocalyptic setting where all technology stops working. And if you've ever read the Change series by S.M. Sterling, this book is apparently where he got the inspiration for that series, which is pretty awesome because that's a big favorite series of mine. It's pretty awesome. Next on the list, I plan to finish um, The Name of the Wind. I know I said in an earlier video that I was going to um, do this a while ago, um, but I'm still only maybe a hundred pages in or something like that. Um, I keep just putting it down in favor of like library books, um, and I feel really bad about that because this is actually a really good book. Um, so naturally I'm going to finish it this month. I really hope so because it's really awesome. And finally, I'm almost done with this book. I can't believe it took me six months to read one book. That's That has not happened since I was in high school, probably. This is just insane. Um, it's, um, like, I just keep putting it down in favor of other books, but I keep reading it, like, in between. Um, it's really weird. But since it's broken up in such a way that you can do that, it's not really that weird. Um... There aren't really, this book is kind of interesting in that it, there aren't really, um, there's not like a coherent story with the same main characters throughout the whole thing or anything like that. It kind of starts off with like this weird prehistoric mammal fighting some dinosaurs and then like, um, and then the next chapter is like, um, many, many years later, that weird creature's, like, remote grandchild does this and that, and so every chapter is a totally different story, and it goes up and up throughout the evolutionary, like, chain, basically, until we get to Hobo Homo sapiens, and then we get to more of the modern day, and then we kind of just go to, like, future evolutions of humans. Now that we're done talking about the books that I um, mostly read in the past month and uh, the ones I plan to read in the next month, um, let's talk about finally the ones that I actually read during the month of June. Um, the first book I read during the month of June was The Sin Eater's Daughter, and I'm really sad that I don't have a um, copy of this one to show you because it's a, it's a beautiful cover. It, like, seriously has the most beautiful cover art I've ever seen. Um, and um, it's a really interesting story. I honestly expected it to be my favorite one, but it wasn't. Um, another, the next book I'm going to talk about kind of topped that. Sin Eater's Daughter is about a girl named Twyla who does not want to follow in her mother's footsteps and be the next Sin Eater. Um, so instead, she goes to the castle to be the, um, the incarnate of one of their gods. And um, if she touches anybody, she kills them. 
um, her skin is poison, basically, and she does. She has to like kill whoever the queen tells her to. Um, next, uh, my the book that ended up actually being my favorite was *The Queen of the Tearling* by Erica Johansson. Um, that is a fantastic book. It's about a girl named Kelsey who um, is coming into power as the queen of the Tearling, and she's still kind of figuring out like what's best for her people and all of that stuff and then in the meantime there's this like queen of the kingdom next door kind of who's this terrible terrible queen and she like enslaves all these people and she like she rapes people like routinely like how often do you get a villain who's a woman who rapes people all the time it, this book just leaves you with more questions than answers and like at first I thought it was gonna be really slow like after the first chapter or so but then it really picked up and I was like holy shit and I just can't wait to read the next one um it's um, like there's this one part where, um, where the main character Kelsey finds, um, a treaty that was signed at one point by that, um, that evil queen and she just signs it queen of whatever, however the hell you pronounce the kingdom's name, like Mord Mesne or something. And, um, she, and, and so Kelsey thinks like, who is this lady that she like doesn't, that she's so desperate to not let anyone know her real name? Like, no, you know, she doesn't, she, yeah, it's really, it's really weird. So you start wondering, like, wow, who is she? Yeah, I want to know. And so there's, like, a mystery element and a suspense element. It's fantastic. Um, next, I read Vicious by V.E. Schwab. Um, that is an awesome book. Um, it's about, basically, um, these two dudes who um, start researching who, like, people who develop special abilities um, after having a traumatic experience. By doing this, they actually gain, they actually do it. They kill themselves and revive themselves. Um, after that, I read I'll Give You the Sun. So I'll Give You the Sun is about um, a boy and a girl who are twins and they um, just, basically the brother tells the past um, like three years ago and then the, um, the sister tells the story three years into the future and it's alternating chapters. And so, um, basically like in between the years that, um, her, that the brother is, um, telling the story of and the years that the sister is telling the story of, like all this tragic stuff happened where, um, she got into art school and he didn't. And so he like gave up art and then their mother died and like all this stuff. It's, it's pretty, pretty, uh, loaded. Um, then I read Half Bad, um, by Sally Green. It was not bad. Um, I expected it to be um, a lot better than it was. Um, it was a little bit dry and a little bit like, um, I don't know, there wasn't enough character development and it really not enough story either. But that book is about um, there are black witches and white witches and the black witches are like practically extinct because they've been hunted so much because they're so evil. And then, but the main character is a boy named Nathan and he, um, he is a bad witch, but like half white too and he wants to be more of a white witch but at the same time like his father was a black witch and he was like the most terrible black witch that ever lived and um he's never he's never met his father and all that stuff so he like has this part of him that's like there's a hole inside him where he's not sure if he's really bad or good um then i read simon versus the homo sapiens agenda and that book is um also really awesome it's about a boy named simon who starts emailing the this um, boy named Blue, uh, who he doesn't know who he is, he just knows he's someone who goes to the same school. And somebody else finds the emails and tries to blackmail Simon, and nobody knows that Simon is gay and that um, or anything, let alone that he's emailing another boy and, and who he has, he, like, has a crush on over the internet and all this stuff. And so um, it's not as bad, like the blackmail stuff is really not as bad as you might like think, or, like, oh, blackmail. But it's actually a really cute story and um, it's really good. Then the last book that I finished in the month of June was Seeker by Armin Elise Dayton. And that book, um, it was okay, but honestly, I was a little bit disappointed um, because we really don't get a lot of backstory and um, a lot of the stuff that happens doesn't further the plot at all, I felt like. And also the bad guy was kind of just bad, like we don't get any insight into why he's that way even though he's in like so much of the story because he's actually the protagonist's father. Um, so really, like that book could have been really good, 
um, if we had just gotten a little bit more backstory so that we would care more about what's going on. Um, I gave it three stars though, because it was honestly not that bad. Um, I just felt like it wasn't enough. Like it, like the story wasn't finished at all. Like the, like the book itself just was not finished. Um, but it's about a girl and her two friends who have been training since they were really young to be seekers. And we never really find out what a seeker is supposed to do. But it's implied that they know because they've heard stories um, about about seekers of the past and all this stuff. But we never hear any of the, these stories. We just kind of like take the the story, the book's word for it. And um, it turns out when they actually are initiated into um, seekerhood, basically, that um, it's not what they expected. And it's actually really terrible and they kill people and all of that stuff. And so basically, like, being a seeker has, like, the meaning of it has evolved so much because of all the corrupt people who have become seekers and sort of abused the power that came with it. Um, and it's actually a really interesting concept, like, that whole thing, but we just really don't get enough of it, so it doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, anyway, those are the books that I read during June. Um, and I will read the books I talked about first in July. Have a great rest of your day. Bye!